Now prolactin, so again, this is why the like, growth hormone, again, is not doesn't have a third wave of hormones. You have the growth hormone releasing hormone and then growth hormone going straight to the circulation. And as you can see that they targets many, many different organs and tissues. Now prolactin, that's the other one that doesn't have that third wave of hormone you see in those HPX axes. So what we have here with the prolactin, so remember lactation, right? So it enables production of milk in mammary glands, and this is what we call lactation or galacteria if you're talking about the process of lactation. So the interesting thing is that if you have abnormal levels of prolactin, this decreases sex hormones in both sexes. So it decreases both estrogens and testosterone. So it can have multiple, so the thing is like, the interesting thing with all these hormones is you notice that if you have too much of a hormone, you have these other, these negative effects on health. If too little of these hormones, you also have other effects as well. So yeah. So then what we hear is now that was too much prolactin, it causes a drop in testosterone and estrogens. But what well, if you have low prolactin? Well, in females, like if, if it's a pregnant female who's trying to nurse her child, then she's going to not produce as much milk. But men, what if we have low prolactin? Well, there's also problems as well. So this is what we're seeing. High prolactin, decreased sex hormones. And then for low prolactin, you have sexual dysfunctions and fertility problems. So this is why these hormones have to be kept at a normal range versus like too much of this hormone versus too little of this hormone. Yes, yeah, so organs can grow and growth hormone, does it have effects on the genitals? Ooh, that sounds like a good fact fact question. Yeah. If you're talking about growth on the, or like in terms of like, well, what are you talking about in terms of the genitals? Are you talking about like function, growth, or other things? Yeah, it's very interesting, especially when you talk about uh, hormonal changes during puberty. You probably have that growth spurt, right? So growth hormones plays a role in that, but yeah. And ED, so what is that what causes ED? Well, there are many things that can cause ED, but as you can see here, this is just one example and some examples of what can cause erectile dysfunction in males. So yeah, hormonal balance is important. That's what I'm getting at here. And this isn't the only hormone that can cause sexual and erectile dysfunction. So the interesting thing is that men can lactate too. <laughs> and yeah, that is pretty amazing, right? So the thing is that men, we do have breast tissue, but we don't get that surge of estrogen and progesterone that typically accompanies puberty in females. That's why our breasts are mammary tissue and breast tissue is under underdeveloped. Like it may be like this size in males be located right behind the nipples, but doesn't really mature and grow. So yes, males can lactate and okay, so I can't there are clips of this online. Like in previous classes I had to like it didn't show anything like it didn't show any genitalia but i had to go to certain adult sites because like a, a student actually told me about it and there are adult sites where if you just look at male lactation they actually have men who have like actually developed breast tissue to the point that they can lactate but there is a um, clean version on youtube if you just search this now i don't think i can i didn't want to risk it on twitch i don't know how twitch would react to me showing lactation on Twitch, but if you search Google this on YouTube, this is a, I think public, but yeah, man produces breast milk, embarrassing bodies, and actually it has a little lot of background on prolactin as well, so it's very interesting, but yes, this man right here, and I'm, I'm in admiration because he, this is embarrassing, like it, it's it, potentially embarrassing, he's going on national television in the United Kingdom. So he's very brave in actually showing what happened. But yes, you can see him lactate in that video. So yes, prolactin does cause lactation in both yeah, the female and male body. But it's also important not just for that. You saw that it also affects sex hormones, such as estrogens and androgens, and also sexual function as well.